Hi everyone, it's Kane here. So why I decided to turn my truck into a house is overall to have as much freedom as I possibly can in this physical world, in this country. I love to splurge, I love to do things that make me happy, I love to eat out, you know, I love to spend money, I like to do things overall. And the best way to do that is not to pay rent. <coughs> um, $1,200 is insane to me, it's ridiculous, even $1,000. Uh, yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna go off topic. There's a squirrel against two crows right over there. Two crows are just picking on him, and the squirrel's like in the middle. <laughs> it's funny. Anyway, so I got pretty much everything I need to survive in this truck. I don't, I'm not planning on staying in Colorado too much longer, so. Uh, weather won't be an issue. I mean, I honestly can. All I need is the Yeti generator. I'm planning to get that. That's the next step, and I'm pretty much good to go. I have a little heater in there. I have fans if it's too hot. Um, yeah, I could do it. I'll be fine. Uh, a lot of you think this is insane, that this is a joke, that, you know, um, to each his own. I uh, have everything I need, to be honest. You know, I don't need a lot to be happy. But I am very happy with my truck. It takes me everywhere I want to go. So yeah, guys, if you, do, if you are planning to do this the way I did it was, as soon as I had this mindset, I just immediately started doing research on trucks. And pretty much overall the one I wanted. I was planning to get a GMC or Chevrolet. I ended up with a Ford. You know, just like how I got my red guitar. I love that guitar with all my heart. The guitar, I was planning to get a, a different guitar. And I went to Guitar Center and I just, it was meant to be with a Yamaha. I fell in love with this Yamaha and yeah. Just as this truck too. I was planning to get a Chevy GMC. I was checking out other trucks and just fell in love with this one. So if you guys are planning to do it, uh, don't rely on research much. Feel the moment feel which one's right for you you know the spirit will come upon you and I was planning to get a camper the 2,000 pound camper you know the one with the toilet and the shower and the kitchen everything thing is I love to go places I love to do things you know I like to go fishing a lot and places far away and that takes a lot of gas if you're carrying around 2,000 pounds so I went light I just got the Lear 122 topper uh, it's perfect spacious for me it does get a little cramped if you have two people. I mean, two people's good, but uh, it's a little, you know, you just want to be by yourself in there. But overall, it's spacious. It's good enough for me. It'll do. Now, the overall goal in this is to save money to get a pool camper so I have space for two people, you know, to live comfortably because that's all I need. But overall, as of now, I'm working on paying off my truck and yeah, as I said, I was going to get a camper. I ended up with the Lear 122. Uh, it was like everything was just meant to be. I went as cheap as possible. I just got a mattress at the American Furniture and the... Uh, you know, those are probably my most expensive things was the mattress. The most expensive things in this truck is the truck itself. The Yeti generator that I'm planning to get. And the mattress. Everything else is pretty much overall not that expensive. You know, I have a little stove in there, I have a sink, I have bins for my clothes. Uh, I got it all. <laughs> I don't wear that many clothes as you see in my videos. I always wear the same shirts. All I need is like six good pair of shirts. You know, if I don't wear something over a month, I try to sell it, get rid of it that sort or take it to the thrift store do something with it let go you know I try to get rid of it um, yeah I make use of what I got I appreciate what I have and I've been going good so I thank you guys for watching my videos if you're interested in this sort of stuff hit that bell subscribe and please leave a comment I love all comments and yeah, um, the bed could fit two people. Uh, I've cooked 
tea. I make tea all the time with my little stove when I go places. Um, I fish a lot. I have my fishing poles. All of, everything's available to me wherever I go. That's what I love about this. It's completely awesome. So yeah, enjoy the video. So this is how my truck looks in the front. HDX grill guard. So I'm gonna show you the driver's side inside my casa. So right when you walk in, the door, I have some deodorants. Under the deodorants, I have a baton. In case someone wants to break into my house, that's it. Some scissors there, I cut some herbs. I collect herbs and use them for teas and all sorts of stuff. Got some towels for cleaning my truck. Focus. Towels for cleaning my truck and checking my oil, all that good stuff. Business cards, I like to collect people, people's business cards. You never know, they might come in handy. Lens wipes, I make a lot of YouTube videos and camera gets dusty a lot so I like to keep some lens wipes in here. Hand sanitizer, with aloe. And this is my trusty to-go teacup. I drink a lot of tea and it stays warm forever in this thing. Especially when I'm making videos and I'm really cold out. Fill this bad boy up with some tea. Good to go. Also, it's good when I go fishing. Keeps me warm if I go fishing in cold weather. Now right here, I have some snacks, lollipops. And this also cleans my cameras. It's a little brush. Cameras get dusty. I like to clean them. Oh, always comes in handy. And right here, I got this from New Mexico, down in Taos. It has my little incense cones in it. I put my little burner right here sometimes when I'm just chilling in my truck, reading a book, and have my little incense cones. I'll show you how I burn them as I show you more of my truck. So head on in. Let me close this door, it's pretty cold. All right. So we're in my seat now. This is where I spend most of my time. These seats are super comfortable. I love them. I've been on road trips and they're just amazing. So I got a picture of my little sister right there. Zoe, I love you with all my heart. I miss you. Phone stand. And let's go on top. So I got a Hamsa. I got a mirror with the light. Pictures of family up there. I also got another mirror right here. This is comedy and tragedy. I can see my passenger's face when I look at them, which is pretty cool. I got a cool wrap up here. Just a little cloth. Not a cloth, kind of like a bandana material. I had that forever. I use that as a scarf when it's really cold out or when it's when I don't feel like putting up the window shades, I'll cover this area with that bandana. But yeah, that really means a lot to me. Sunglass holder, you know, keep my aviators in there. I got some lights. Um, let's head on top. So on top I got a baby alligator head. I've had that forever. My mom got that for me when she went to New Orleans. The first time she went to New Orleans as a souvenir. Naki sack. I think they call it that. Naki or Hacky Sack. One of those. Pretty fun to play with. Uh, this is where I usually keep my tripod stand. I have it on my camera right now. So it's not there, obviously. My first Grigri bag I've ever made. This one's special to me. It's a love drawing Grigri. I got bottle cap opener. Got this from my birthday long ago. With my initials. And on the corner there, just got a crystal. I had that for a while too. My truck is very spiritual, has a lot of energy in it. It's very special to me. So that's why I keep a lot of sacred objects in here. Mojo bag, I've got when I went to Mardi Gras. A watch and a very good book by Derek Lynn called The Tao of Joy. Recommend it guys. Very good book. 
So that's what I keep on top. Do I, what else on that? Yeah, that's it. All right. The bottom here, I got two guitar picks. I got a blue one and a white one. Right here I got, this is from Mexico. And I got Grigory bags, protection, and love drawing Grigory's. And this wire, oh, right here, I got backup camera mirror. I don't really rely on this mirror because I blacked it out. I'll show you guys why, but yeah, and I also got dash cam. I got an older dash cam because this cord, I really love this cord right here. Um, when I plug it in, it lights up like little lights and it's really cool looking, especially at nighttime. So, yeah, and I also got my grandma right here and my old necklace. And down here, I've got a scorpion that I got at Las Vegas a long time ago. Money drawing, Grigri. This is Zim. Zim has been with me for a long time. Actually, Zim belonged to my grandpa, so he's been alive since before I was born. And he was probably one of my first toys. So he's been riding with me ever since. All the time. My room, my old car, and Hellhound. So there's a mirror on the back here and a skull in the front, Day of the Dead Skull. I got that from a Botanica down in Louisiana, New Orleans. I got this from New Mexico. This is Santuario de Chimayo Holy Dirt. Special place is where my grandma's ashes are. And yeah, some mints. Seashells. This seashells from Jacksonville, Florida. Marbles. Um, a turtle. Turtles are really sacred to me because they take life really slow and and uh, yeah, their diet's really good. And, yeah, I like turtles. So right here, I got my gym bottle. Love this bottle. This is probably one of my favorite things in the truck. This is my yin yang with a scorpion and a spider. Really individualizes it because it fits so perfectly. I got this at Marie Laveau's House of Voodoo on Bourbon Street in New Orleans. I think it was Bourbon Street, either Bourbon Street or Royal Street. Get my quarters in there. It's good to have quarters, especially if you live in Colorado. Get that salt off, and you know, it's always good to have quarters in general. Back here, my phone. I have nuts. These are so good. I'm addicted to them. Just have a little every day here and there. Got a bottle. Whenever I need to fill it up with juice, whatever. So yeah, and here, it's kind of a mess. Keep a little memo book. Got some breath mints. Chargers, USB. See, this is where I put them. I have it in there. And then put my cord. And the lights go really cool at night. That's what operate. That's what turns on my dash cam. So I got some chapstick, mints. Um, my business card holder with my business cards in there. Some coins. Sharpies, pens, with flashlights, tools. Um, on here, I got some tissues, just in case, some pens, and my knife. Now, down below. I got my reading glasses. I don't really use them at all, but my dad got them for me. They were pretty pricey, so I still keep them. A spare t-shirt, juicy fruit gum, 
This holds all my coins in there. Spare change. It's just an orange juice bottle. Fucking close it. There you go. Pencils. Uh, let's see. Business cards, a charger, more almonds. This is cool. This holds soups and it's a container that holds like a bunch of stuff you want to keep it warm or cold. Uh, really cool, especially with Thanksgiving coming up. I'm going to use that. Keep some food stored. Down here, got some CDs, flashlights, cameras. Um, this thing's cool. Has all my hygiene stuff. Well, you know, like nail clippers, tweezers, um, scissors, stuff like that. Uh, let's see. Stuff to clean my camera. Lens fluid or my glasses. Lotion. That's pretty much it. I also got a charger down there. I don't know if you guys can see. Just plug one of these bad boys. And it's a 12 volt. So on my passenger side. I keep hot chocolate mug. Usually get hot chocolate from 7-Eleven, places like that. More deodorant. This is honestly my favorite deodorant right here. Everyman Jack. Good deodorant without all the bad stuff. Um, got this in Los Angeles. Last time I went down in Overa Street. Swim shorts. Uh, a beanie. I got an umbrella down there and a map and some pumpkin seeds. So yeah, let's head on in. Oh, right here. It snows here in Colorado a lot, so I keep that on the bottom. Usually don't, but. Ah. So on top, I have a seashell from Hawaii. My great grandma gave me that before she died. We got a chicken foot right there. And over here I keep my favorite candies. Need a refill. Lemon heads. <laughs> and right down here, I keep a smudge stick. Keeps my car feeling like good sage. Purify it. And what do I keep in here? Oh, just leaves. <laughs> here. This is where I put my incense, my incense cones that I keep right there in my little New Mexico bag. Just burn them in here, you know, set them right there. Or I could light candles in there without, you know, getting this all hot. You know, just set the little tea light candle in there or whatever. And it's cool too, because here's the top. You could close it and you can see little stars. And I love this thing. More pumpkin seeds. I love pumpkin seeds. I always eat them when I'm fishing. And my Ford book, registration, all that good stuff. So that's pretty much the passenger side. On top, I have a mirror as well. And evil eye protection. May all the evil eyes go blind. And yeah, let's head on to the back. So the back of the passenger side, on this compartment, I keep my headphones. Down here, uh, a cable, fishing stuff, spare piece of spare socks, uh, fishing bait, uh, stuff that holds my worms, plastic worms, and all that. This is pretty cool. My girlfriend gave me this. You know, charge it to my truck. I have some outlets right there and I have multiple outlets. That's just in case if I need it, you know, if I go camping, that fun stuff. So yeah, that's what I keep right there. So there's my Yeti. Good size, keep a lot of food in here. Keeps ice alive very long time. I don't know why I have a bottle in here. But yeah, that's how it looks.
I like to organize my foods and meals. Like I'll fill this up with food. You know, I like to keep organized. I have a couple, a bunch of them. So yeah, down here, I got my tools, a bow staff, just in case, uh, tissues, my lunch box over there, as you can see. Uh, this is my cup. I don't use it for drinks. I use it for pistachio, pistachios. <laughs> Dreamcatcher, more artifacts from the Denver Zoo. This is from New Mexico. And all my good books, papers. I have a guitar key to my old house. And mushrooms. <laughs> Got my stickers. All these are from New Mexico. This is, I just got from my grill guard and that one's from my Yeti, obviously. I'm gonna fill them up with more stickers throughout time. This is all gonna be stickers. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's go to the other side. So on the back of the driver's side, I keep chocolates. You always have to have chocolates. You know what I'm saying? Got a medical bag, beanies, beanies down there, gloves, come in handy when you're living in Colorado. Now, over here, that's how it looks. I got a spare blanket. Um, my sweater, this is my favorite sweater. I love the color of it. My hat, pillows, go dolphins. Down here I got my fishing bag. This is this backpack's completely awesome. It has everything I need to survive in the wild, plus all my fishing gear, everything I need. And it's light, lightweight. So not too much in it, but I just love this little bag. Um, a canteen, my GoPro stuff. And over here, I got Evil Eye protection and box of tissues and in that little red box I keep my candles that I sell all right let's head on over to the back all right guys so this is where I also spend most of my time obviously back of the truck I have a twin size bed in here able to fit me comfortably so got a backup camera right here no I'm gonna open it for you guys So, I'll be right back. Gotta get my keys. You can stop it. Got my keys, so I'm gonna open it for you guys. So, down here, I keep water jugs. You know, you never know when you'll need water. Always good to have them in handy. Arizona gallons are really tough. They'll last a while. So, fishing bag, I keep my spare stuff in it, you know. Um, all kinds of knickknacks. Usually I keep my oil right here, but since I'm out of oil, I have antifreeze. I keep right there. Teacups to go. Um, my fly fishing pole. Table when I do tarot readings or when I paint. Uh, I got chairs for fishing, a fishing net. My punching bag when I teach my Wing Chun sessions. Dream catcher, and yeah. My bed. Now later on, as I get more funds and I pay off this truck, I'm planning to get a little step thing, step bar, so it comes out so I can easily just step on this and fix this, obviously, because I don't really trust it. I got a light up there, cool LED light. So as you can see, nice size bed, fits me fully. I can also have guests in here. Um, let me show you. So, so this is where I hang my curtains with these clips. I got a backpack right there, family. Kind of rushing through this, my camera's dying, so. Yeah, as you can see, got my yoga mat. I got my fishing poles right here. With towel and rope to hold them steady because before they were just So I had to fix that. This side, got my cups. Cooler for dry storage, dry foods. 
Dreamcatcher. I got that from Las Vegas. Oh, this is my newest thing for my truck. Got a little baby alligator head with a honey bottle. For when I make tea, I just take this out, put some honey in it. Very convenient. On the side of my bed, I keep a box of my personal stuff. I also have a heater right there. My fans over there, if it gets too hot. I can also open up the windows. I also got cooking stuff right here. You know, stuff, my little stove. I also got a big container right there. I could put my clothes in. I got two of them, one on that side and one right here. Now this is my sink. This is my sink. I fill up those Arizona gallons and whenever time I need to use it, fill this with water, boom. I have a sink, clean my dishes. Thanks for watching my videos. Leave a comment, hit the bell, subscribe. Till next time guys.